imagine if a character was that fast. Alright, get set up in the corner here for capture point A on King's Row. Once again, we are watching G2 versus passive aggressive. G2 has already set a time of 8 minutes 35 seconds for the entire map. So if at any point passive aggressive fails to take a capture point or a checkpoint, they will lose the best of one lower bracket match and will be eliminated. So pressure's on them to make this happen. We've got Mufu. Oh, Mufu and Hulaba are the uh, are the names. That's what Slasher was saying. Okay. Let me verify those. He said the names earlier, but I can't remember which was which, and now I can't find it. Okay. Hulabu is Cypher and Mufu is Avec. Is that correct? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, anyway. We've got 10 seconds left. Go ahead and pull up this timer here and get ready to click start in 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! All right, into the game here. Let's go ahead and watch a hula boo, hula hulaba on Tracer for the attacking team passive aggressive. Once again, they have that time to beat up in the top left of your screen. Trying to take out the enemy Farah here, being played by Mike Yap. Oh, I like that everyone on the G2 team actually has their tag already in. Numlocked, Nox, Tech 36, Shocky, Flippy, and Mike Yap, or Mike Yap. Or Mikey A. Could be any of those. Uh, but wow, they've already captured the first point in record time. Uh, just watching Tracer there, we did not really get the full picture of what happened, but they did absolutely destroy the defense there. Uh, so would not be surprised to see Passive Aggressive doing a good job here. Mikey A, is that confirmed? Alright. Moving forward now, we're taking a Winston's POV, Mufu. We also have Zibby on Roadhog. Zeus and Hulaba are, are the actual attacking unit here for passive aggressive. Hulabu is Cypher, Mufu is Avec. So those are European Quake players, legendary Quake players. Or Zibby is Avec. <laughs> or one of the other two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Either way, some. Quake Legends here on the attacking team, Passive Aggressive, you can see that they've already basically crushed through here. They're not even using hitscan characters aside from a Reaper and Tracer. Uh, not using things like Soldier, no Rocket Queen. This is actually the first time I have not seen a Pharah on offense in a long time. So we'll see how they actually deal with the defending Pharah. It looks like so far it hasn't been an issue. Death Blossom coming out now for Zeus, taking out at least one member of the defending team, but it looks like Shocky has now shown up. Let's go ahead and move our payload cam up to the second checkpoint where they already have captured it. Jesus, they're moving like crazy here. Passive aggressive, doing a great job. Let's go ahead. No, not not Roadhog. He's a little too far back. Reinhardt's a little too far back. They're going with a three tank setup, one healer. That is why they're crushing through so well, I think, is they're going with only Lucio, but they are probably going to need to switch on to Mercy here in this last point because it is just so hard to capture without those mass reses when the enemy team does have it. Watching Roadhog now, he does have his ultimate available, so they probably pop it once they're about to round the corner here. That would be the best use of it, uh, especially if he can catch Reinhardt without his shield up. Like, right now is a perfect time. There he goes. Zibby going crazy here. Ooh, into the defensive Zarya ult goes Reaper, but that payload is being pushed by just one member right now. It's still contested, so the players actually maybe got a little too overzealous there and moved ahead of their team, unable to keep that payload under control, and now defense is back on it. Let's go ahead and switch to... We've got Tracer still being played by Hulaba. Hulaba. Here's that Tracer. Rewinding after dropping a bomb, it looks like. We just missed it, but did not actually score any kills with that. Reinhardt Shield could be to blame for that. Tracer is kind of a tough character on the very last point here. We've got Offensive Reaper trying to drop behind and look for some targets. He's actually going to be able to deal with this Pharah potentially uh, just from being up here. There's that Death Blossom. Uh, could have a good opportunity to use it. No, right now Reaper's the only one there. There is the defensive res from 
Mercy on G2. Oh, that Death Blossom actually took out several members of the defending team. Reaper at range there. All they really need to do now is get rid of this Reinhardt and Reaper, and they should have quite a lot of push potential. Death Blossom goes out from the defense of Reaper. He gets killed very quickly, and it looks like Passive Aggressive are going to take this lower bracket match. There's a couple of defensive Zarya ults and offensive Zarya ults. We've got defensive Lucio ult. No GG. GG is being called, but they haven't actually completed it yet. They could continue to throw themselves at the payload. There it is. GG. Passive aggressive take out G2 in the lower bracket. Super quick game there. Very impressive. Let's go ahead and watch the play of the game. Play of the game. Cypher with the Tracer play of the game. Oh, what a stick. Oh my goodness, what a great setup there from Zarya to allow Tracer to get four kills from that bomb. Seven pulse bomb kills overall. Good game to both teams.